fly to heaven. Wish. <laughs> I wish for a happy ending for all the characters, even though. No. <laughs> When is she gonna eat him already? <laughs> yeah, she's alive in Eren. And so is Grisha. So not only are the powers carried on, but something like the soul is carried on, or the person's being, maybe through their, their neural networks. Avenger Mother. Wait, wait. Avenger Mother. Even though the gag is in his mouth, I know what he was saying. It had to do with deserving to breathe. All right, so I think I have it straight from the last episode. Grisha was the one who ate Frida. Aaron ate Grisha. So Aaron has both of them in his in his person. <laughs> and he has both of their powers. And my guess last episode, which I think was just confirmed, was that Grisha wanted Aaron to eat him. I think I was definitely confused about the timeline, but I think I got it now. I think Reiner and Bertholdt attacked before that scene we saw of Grisha attacking the, the Rice family. And then after that, Eren ate Grisha. My memory is really fuzzy of this, but I'm wondering if we didn't see Eren wake up shortly after eating his father, because there were some weird moments where he, he like woke up from a dream. Maybe he wasn't actually dreaming. Maybe that was just a vague memory of what had happened. Although I can't really be sure without going back and watching those episodes. Yeah, you tell him, Eren. Oh, here we go. It seems like they're walking into a trap, but yeah, they got something on their mind. They got something planned. Explosives? Yeah. Nice shot, Sasha. <laughs> and now they can run through the smoke. Smoke screen. Oh, it's gonna get ugly. Nice. Very clever. I expect nothing less. <laughs> this was Armin's idea, largely, wasn't it? Nice, I love... Levi and Mikasa fighting together. This feels so good, man. They've had problems with this too, having to kill. Hmm. Thank you, Armin, <laughs> once again. Wow. That kind of hurts me, but I get it. Akani too, man, they're all, this is a huge turning point for them. Especially after that scene recently where they were sort of grappling with what they had to do. Following orders and killing these these people. You can't blame them because really they're, you know, their backs are up against the wall. This is a fight for their, their lives. But they've all just crossed a huge line that there's no going back from. Honey. Thank you, Sasha. They figured them out. Damn. I think the only one who doesn't have a kill yet is Armin. Oh yeah, Mikasa. <laughs> Mikasa doesn't give a crap though. Damn. Oof. All alone. Feels like it's already happened. Oh no! Just Kenny's mere presence shifts the whole tide of the battle. Yo, Levi. Yo! <laughs> Imagine this being a waste of time. This changes everything. Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> Levi did say he was more dangerous than him. He's proven him right. Oh, damn. He actually got him. He's alright though. Well, he'll live. This whole scene is crazy. <laughs> no, that, that was intentional. Never gloat in the show. Oh no! Damn. H hooked her? No, no, she's alright. Is anyone left? Okay, they got a couple people. Yeah, their plan overall might just be to delay them, which, you know, they're doing a great job of it. Right, I didn't think about that. I knew that she was going to eat Eren, but I didn't think about whether or not she already had Titan powers. I guess she's about to get them. So one thing I'm wondering about Historia is, we know that 
the Reyes family has a certain ability, which Grisha took and Aaron has now. I'm wondering what abilities Historia has that are intrinsic to her based on her blood, rather than like titan-eating lineage, you know what I mean? It seems like Historia has something already that maybe combined with the power Aaron stole will be something, <laughs> something good or something terrible maybe. Isobo, Historia. <sighs> Does Historia know the, the whole plan and is she okay with it? <laughs> You were about to just take this injection without knowing what the plan was? <laughs> just like the walls. Protected from what, though? Whoa! <laughs> he puts that so nicely. Touch their hearts. Which means Aaron also has access to those memories on some level. So it's been passed down like this, again and again. The true memories of the world. The founding Titan. Okay, right, so there is some combination that's necessary between the ability and the race bloodline. Okay, so to recap, just for my for myself, about a hundred years ago, the city was built, this country was built or whatever, with the walls and the cavern and everything. And since then, this power has been passed along, which is the power to control titans, which maybe is what he meant by if Frida had been allowed to use her power, the titans might no longer exist. But Eren can't fully manifest his powers because he's not of the race bloodline, but Historia can. Well, I asked for plot, and here it is. I still have a lot of questions, but it seems like we are in the, in the stages of getting it, so I'm sure all will be revealed. Character-wise, this is kind of weird for Historia, right? Like, this is such a big shift for her in her life. I can't help but wonder if her willingness to go along with all this, like, she's like, yeah, yeah, hit me with this injection. Wait, what is it for? <laughs> is maybe partly based on her wanting to be accepted, feeling like an outcast all this time. Finally feeling like she belongs after the way she was treated by her mother and then orphaned and then having not really anyone who saw the, the true her except for maybe Ymir to an extent. There might be something seductive about her feeling that she's important, but What's weird is how far she'll she'll go with it when she knows the actual details. I can see her doing it, but I can also see her having some issues with it. Especially after that conversation she and Aaron had, where they talked about honesty. He's looking pretty good for someone who was just slashed. Does this ruin Kenny's plans? Was that his plan? Oops. Right, Kenny was not just going to be a tool, a hired gun. <sighs> if Historia dies, does that mean this whole thing is over? She's the last one, right? Yeah, did you not realize that? Okay, she does. But, there's more to the story, I'm guessing, because people don't want her to do this for some reason. Yeah. And where was he this whole time? What are you doing? Yeah. After this last thing that I do, to interfere. <laughs> Interesting. Are we about to get Historia versus Eren? Yeah, yeah, I would, I would leave. Wise choice. It's different when it's real. It's all well and good until it's time to inject yourself with the Titan fluid and presumably eat your friend and comrade. That face. Wow, this is very unusual for Aaron. Oof. Imagine being responsible for that. Or knowing your father's responsible for that. Yeah, but you didn't do it. I 
because... Wow. Yeah, imagine the evil you've been trying to eliminate. Everything you've ever geared yourself up for, your whole moral identity is not only something you didn't understand, but that you, you represent. Like, you partly represent that evil. I mean, he's not really at fault for this. He didn't make this choice consciously. It was made for him. But still, that's his whole world that just came crashing down. Like, he's been so geared towards one way of thinking, but in reality, the enemy is a lot closer than, than he thought. At least from his perspective right now. You know, I'm not convinced that this is the whole story. There are other interests. There are people who would probably argue that the race family having this power is not a good thing for humanity or the world. But for Aaron to imagine that his father is the reason why this whole thing has been allowed to continue and all these deaths, there really is nothing left for him. Like, that's just a total meltdown of who he thought he was and who he thought the world was. So yeah, it's, that's rough, buddy. And that is a thing, I think. Like, sometimes in the evil that we see, we don't realize how, how close we are to that that same evil or to what extent we perpetuate that same thing like it's really easy to point to evil and we may be on a different side from that evil but we may be carrying out the very same practices the very same way of thinking the very same selfish ideologies that that the enemy is i'm also wondering how much of aaron's rage and personality even is is his because he's this combination of so many different people his character's reactions can be a little bit jarring it's like oh this is weird to see sensitive aaron and then you get like everyone must die the you don't deserve to breathe aaron hard to say what is even his yeah, I knew this conversation would be would be meaningful. What you gonna do, Historia? Uh oh. No, she's just sort of snapped out of her, her trance. She was happy to follow along until now, but now it's real. Right, this is not the whole truth. I wonder if that's connected to what Pixis said way back in the beginning about humanity needing an enemy. That's how it hit me when I heard that, but I might be misinterpreting. Power of the gods. I guess. But what is the reason for keeping the Titans around? Wow. <laughs> that reaction. <laughs> now we'll see how much he really loves her or who she is. Wow. This is why we learn hand-to-hand -hand combat. I mean, I feel like... She could have asked a couple more questions first. Well, I guess she did and he doesn't know the answer or he won't tell her the answer. This is not God, obviously. These are advanced powers, but there's something really corrupt and dirty about this, about this whole cycle. It's based on lies and it's based on arrogance that only a chosen few should know the truth and that that is somehow good for humanity. It's a very small-minded and arrogant way of framing things. Yeah, these are selfish interests. It's not for the people, really. Not totally. <laughs> Kenny's having a great time. Maybe that's all Kenny really wanted, was to have fun. You gotta learn more. You need more information. I need more information. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? Where is this going? Is she, she's being serious? Oh. Just one lick? What in the world? <laughs> uh, uh. This crystal chamber arc is, is intense. It's very intense. A lot of stuff happening. So this is a race tradition. And it seems like part of it is keeping the status quo of the world, which includes the Titans. Historia raises a good point that they probably could have ended things if they really did have this power, but it seems like they actually have other ideas in mind. And, you know, the whole Pixis thing comes comes to mind where he's saying that humanity would just destroy each other unless they have a common enemy. I don't know if that actually is what it is, but it's not really for the good of 
of people, just from my impression of it based on this episode, it seems like a very dim view of, of humanity, right? It's like humanity is so evil, can never amount to anything. It's better they just don't know the truth and we have a, you know, a select few, a select group of rulers control everything, which in my eyes is a sort of arrogance. Who gets to decide, right? That's Erwin's question. Who gets to decide what, what potential humanity has and whether or not people can live for themselves or can sort out things in a better way? To me, that's a form of, of arrogance, you know, thinking that you can judge the world and you know what's best for them and that includes keeping secrets from people or deciding the fate of humanity for humanity without respect for the potential, the potential of people to improve or for society to develop or for problems to be solved or for people's best qualities to, to emerge. It's sort of the same thing as what Aaron was talking about in the beginning, where people are just hiding behind the safety of the walls. Maybe that was a bigger thing than it seemed. Like at the time, it seemed like people were hiding from the truth of the Titans. But in a way, if the race system is what I now think it is, it's also they're hiding from not letting things play out naturally, which will include tragedy, right? It's like locking it in at a very base state rather than go through the, the progression, the societal progression, the human progression of, of improvement. In that way, I think Aaron is right. The truth sort of wants to be free. Like the truth wants to come out. There's no maintaining that. That's, that's a volatile system. You can only hold on to that for so long. Just like how as a person, you can build a world of illusions for yourself. You can live your life successfully for some time, but eventually the truth will, will break through, right? Like you can't hide from, from the reality forever. And humans will naturally want to be free. But I can see the, the danger of evil for the Rice family. Like, they think that's right. They're going to keep doubling down on this and they're going to be able to justify any sort of atrocity to keep it and claim that it's for the good of humanity, even though they may be defending and maintaining what is just an inevitably sinking ship. So it seems like Historia picked up on that, although her conclusion is a bit extreme. Like, humanity's terrible. That is maybe not the correct answer or is still too cynical of an answer the answer is probably dismantle this whole thing but now she and Aaron are in an interesting place because they have a lot of power together and they <laughs> seem to be sort of on the same page in a way although i'm curious to see where Aaron will go from here all these things back to back for Aaron, they just don't feel good they don't feel good for him this episode is is honestly just insane because on top of this whole thing that you have this whole backstory and the craziness of the the inner chamber you had that amazing action scene that levi squad versus kenny squad badass aerial battle with smoke screens and bows and arrows <laughs> and guns and swords and all this all this stuff definitely one of the most exciting episodes of season three so far maybe the show it's really good stuff hope this continues but yeah i'll see you for the next episode when race titan race <laughs> <laughs>